I'm super happy today to have Gazine Bon as my invitee for, for the dialogue. We, we've met each other a few years back, and I, I followed your work since then. You're, you're a science communicator with a very strong emphasis uh, on photography, uh, which you've studied. Um, uh, originally, you had started chemistry studies, so you're really into the scientific mood, I would say. Uh, and um, I'm going to directly dive into the, the main question of this podcast. What what's photography for you? How did it enter your life? So it's it entered my life in, when I studied um, photography, and it was a really nice way to express what uh, I want to tell. It's it's for for telling story. Uh, also in science, uh, uh, yeah, very very good opportunity. And um, yeah, in the beginning, it was. Uh, for me, a, a field that I could go a lot of ways to to make portraits, to show a, a, a person behind the picture, but also to to make uh, worlds uh, in a, in a new way. That I uh, I also um, make uh, works where I work with Photoshop, so to to show how it could be. But this um, portrait to make uh, science portraits it was really a nice way to to show people the the people behind the science and that was a great way for for me to to explain science and mm -hmm. also to see what photographs are in science that was also so interesting to to see but for me it was then a point that i saw that women in science were absolutely not visible. And when you go in Science Institute, you see this whole world of black and white portraits of really great scientists, but there are no women. And of course, mm. there are women in science. And so for me now as a science communicator, and I use a lot of other formats like AI and like illustrations to communicate science, a photo, is a real clear way to show people and to, to show faces behind science. And that was the idea to, to make this vault of the institutes uh, with women, black and white pictures, really strong poses to, to show that women can be uh, in the same mm. way visible than men. And therefore, uh, I think, photos are the only way to show that and that there's no other mm. possibility so, so you really you really think that the photograph has this kind of truthfulness to it strengths to convince people of the reality of the subject yeah <laughs> i still believe that and i think it's getting more and more important with mm. these ai pictures we can use for for everything else but to show the truth we should focus on photograph and um, i think it's getting it's, more and more important <laughs> i'll put all the links in the descriptions um for people to go see what what you do uh, there's always i think this search of trying to sh explain the underlying truth of things which is obviously very important in science um, but also this emphasis on the human aspect of the of the scientific discovery or or process. Um, do you think you use actually the scientific process in your own photographs to make it more truthful or to have a better and a more convincing uh, aspect? Yeah, the, the way of science is a long way and there are a lot of failures in it. And um, um, I think my way is to, to just try a little, uh, try a lot of things to go on my go goal and um, I think the uh, when when you work as a scientist, you should also um, make the way how to 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 get to your goals visible, to to get more transparent, and that is also my goal when I work with pictures, uh, when I work with AI pictures to show something. I always uh, communicate the prompt that I'm using, and I tell people, okay, now this is. AI picture and not a photograph. And that is really important. Also to, um, when I work uh, as a photographer, I al always take some uh, making of pictures or tell people um, how I was doing that. And um, these pictures I do 
from the scientist woman, uh, there's no Photoshop. It's just black and white. Of course, there's contrast and there's, um, but I don't um, work with Photoshop in this mm. way. It's interesting what, what you say, because I think that's one of the main uh, things that come into the debates with artificial intelligence, with technology, is being truthful and, and transparent. Um, in a way, I'm, I'm thinking about one of your works with the crystals, where you had lasers, where mm -hmm. actually explicitly things are transparent. You show where the light goes. And um, you believe that people who will look at your work or other works uh, linked to artificial intelligence or new technologies will still spend the time to try to understand how things were made? Or in your case, it's pretty clear because it's really part of your of your work and what you share. But don't you think that it might be done differently elsewhere? Yeah, I think I see it everywhere. And so that is mm -hmm. my goal. Um, also with my uh, picture institute to uh, communicate the importance of uh, of pictures and to discuss pictures and to reflect pictures. That is the main thing to do the pictures and another thing. So, or to do the uh, a photo with uh, working with people, but everything's uh, in, in um, when you do a, a photo shooting, it's part of the communication. If, if you, Put a woman in a strong pose it does something with a woman and it does something mm -hmm. with her way later so i think it's absolutely underrated this um, progress and this way of doing pictures and doing photographs and also doing ai and uh, we have to reflect and discuss everything about this and uh, this is my goal so on my instagram account i uh, or on my linkedin and uh, later on my website, I will communicate all this um, progresses and all this uh, making of stuff to to make the way visible and to make it transparent. So um, I think it's not only in science communication, also uh, in other ways, it's very important to talk about that. Um, you have a very strong emphasis, on, I, I believe, on the character of the humans you work with, on the indiv individual. Um, and trying to reveal who they are. Um, your, your work on, on, on trying to reveal um, women in science and, and how maybe the past patriarchal and still patriarchal societies we live in uh, have biased the way we communicate and show uh, who people really are can be quite well seen, I, I believe, in your, in your past work. Uh, now you have this more active, proactive approach uh, on, on, on expressing that. How do you see the, the future of how people show themselves uh, through photography online, in science or not in science? How do you see photography help discovering who people really are? Um, I think when someone decided to make a photo, uh, it's more in a really um, decision and not like an I when I talk about a photo I will talk now about a portrait or of a really um, thinkful made picture not like a selfie or a, a, in, in two seconds ready made I think people will um, get another way to photograph and um, of course it's all Everything is so full of pictures that when they decide to make a photo, it will be a really focused way to. And um, I think that it's a really interesting um, developing of, of pictures. So I really believe that there is a go back to also to film. If you see that uh, there are fashion photographers who use a film again and then they scan it and they have this view and this um, on, on pictures. Maybe it's a nostalgic feeling to, to have this moment of reflecting before you get to the picture. Not, not this uh, way of, uh, okay, I make a picture with my cell phone and I see it in one second later. And so I can make uh, thousands of variations. So if you <laughs> put a, uh, film in a very old camera and um, yeah you, you have to to make the developing of the film it's in 
a whole other process of getting to a picture and you uh, also to to speak with the pe uh, people you, you're taking a picture of. Of course, it, it's not like, oh, I can show it. You look like this. No, you have to trust the photographer. So I, I think that uh, the, the world will split into this. It's getting faster and faster and faster. And on the other way, we will have this other way of thinking back very nice other techniques of film of portraits of polaroids <laughs> yeah and, trying uh, to yeah, trying to create some space for for the head to sink more uh, yeah. about what they're doing yeah it, it's interesting because um that's one of the points i, I wanted to discuss with you and, and you kind of introduced it here um it looks like the newer the younger generations who haven't known uh a world without internet are really getting into film. Um, and do you think it's because of, of what you've just said that it gives them time to reflect, to, to feel who they are and, and interact in more thoughtful ways? Yeah, I think so. Also the progress, uh, the process of, um, of making a photo to look uh, top of the camera, like in a Hasselblad and you see it mirrored and uh, it's a completely other thinking of photography also of, of learning to see pictures and then they can mm. also use this learning to to get to others uh, digital ways of, of photography not only to 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 uh, think about this um, old stuff film uh, photography yeah. but also this normal digital way of photography will get to another uh, direction with um, this reflection on this is a photo and this is the reality. I think that this is the power of, of photography. Yeah, this is the reality. I think that's that's really the point uh, that we all should right now reflect on. Yeah. Um, do you think photography has actually led you to be who you are today? Do you think it's got a, a big impact besides the fact that it's your it's part of your career? Yes, of course, because uh, I, I take every um, step of, of of photography, like from from film to digital. Now I'm 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 filming also, and I was really open to everything, and I uh, I try to to see the value of each point of of photography, and I'm really glad now to to work with other photographers uh, to to look for what I'm looking for for this uh, social science institute I do this picture research there and then I can I have a theme and then I I see okay there's a really great photographer I will ask him for this picture and I see that there are so many so talented photographers that uh, with their own um, handwriting and their own style to and when I have a theme in mind, I, I know, oh, th that could be a, a perfect illustration of this with this photographer. So it's it's more that I'm um, not seeing the value in my own work, but I see it in the value of, of the others also. And um, for me, it's um, my part of uh, science communication, doing science communication. Um, I think I will... Uh, do less photography but when I will do it I will do it in a really concentrated way like this woman in science where I do it mm. on point black and white no photoshop I, I have also a small question because I, I, you're definitely your process is linked to some kind of scientific thinking and uh, trying to go forward understand and being truthful to the underlying meaning uh, I know you have a, a uh, you like science fiction. Uh, how do you think <laughs> science fiction and you know imagination, the link between society, science, technology, and and our fantasies? How do you think it, it impacts your photographic world? Uh, this love of science fiction. Um, the funny thing is, in in uh, um, in a visual way, it doesn't infect me so much. But the idea of 
this uh, like Star Trek in in the future, the the um, people will work together, and it's it's like an utopia that there's no money. We will just work for the science progress, and uh, that everyone is uh, has a value living, and um, that is the uh, the nice thing on science fiction that I try to to. Um, to find in my way. And also, uh, I think that science communication and science is, uh, is, yeah, is a goal that uh, is valuable for, for, for everyone. So, um, and, and of course, science and um, science fiction are um, working together. There are many um, developings that are made because people were inspired by science fiction and the other way around. So mm. how people will work together and how they will live. And I hope I'm an optimistic person, but maybe it's going the other way. Yeah, but you still think it gives it gives us an idea of what we could expect yeah. uh, in the yeah. future. Yeah. Uh, we're slowly arriving to the small format of this podcast, sadly. Do you have a small project? Do you have something you would like to talk about or uh, an important project coming up um, on your side? Yeah, um, my Picture Institute is coming up. Uh, I hope in the next week I will finish my website. And it's uh, an institute for um, reflecting pictures and for yeah, working with pictures in science communication. And um, yeah, I will do workshops on uh, how to reflect pictures. And um, I also uh, have a team of people where I'm working and doing films and also photo um, projects. And um, yeah, I, I also have a small um, research uh, opportunity to look how how is the best way, a visual way to make women in science uh, visible. And so I will make some research about that. Uh, what uh, I hope that I um, get the opportunity to make a really huge wall with women and also to, to think about, is it possible to make it with AI? Yeah, it, I'm really looking forward to see all uh, your projects uh, in more detail as they expand. Uh, you're, you're based in Berlin. I didn't say that before. Uh, so it's pretty central, um, I yes. guess. Uh, yeah, so it's quite practical for those who are interested. Of course, I, I put all the links below. And yeah, and, and thanks so much for this uh, mini dialogue. Yes, thank you for, for uh, being here. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. -bye. Bye.